Cancer Leo to your June 28th through the July 1st reading. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. I did get these new cards, guys, so we will be using these. Got them for my anniversary, so so excited. Okay, two decks. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you. New cards, new excitement. Keep the excitement going. Okay, what do we got going on? First card coming out is Destiny. Wow. You guys are really on this destined plan right now. I mean, really working towards this path. Um, talking about that from the end of the month to the beginning of the month, it's almost like this is in your head. You know where you're going. You know what you want. And you're just completely 100% moving towards this um, one way or another. <laughs> Whatever it is you want, right? It could be a new car. It could be a job. It could be, you know, I want to be rich. Who knows what it is, right? I want somebody. Okay, let's see. It could be anything. For some of you, it's material, spiritual, prosperity. I just want, you know, the good things in life. How about that? I just want the good things in life. I just want to feel like I have what I have so that I can feel alive. And you have the power coming out. And that gives you a lot of power on your destined move over here with the movement choices and decisions. So a lot of movement choices and decisions are going on at, towards the end of the month about where you're going, what you're doing, um, and how you're going to get there. Um, you're definitely the material, spiritual prosperity is in the waiting game at this time. But that's okay because you're still making the right movement choices and decisions towards the situation and putting on a lot of strength and power and having the overall awareness of the situation. Wow, love that because it's saying I am aware of what I can do. I'm aware of where my firm foundations are. So making the movement choices and decisions towards the firm foundation is definitely going to bring in the material harvest for you. So don't give up. That's the biggest thing here is wherever you're going, don't give up. Let's see what's actually going on. Now we're using these little cards. These little cards are going to bring in little tiny details to what's going to happen also during the end of the month. Yeah, they're used a little different. So let's see what's going on. Message of concern towards the material spiritual uh, prosperity. So you're going to get some kind of message that's coming in that could be a little bit concerning um, about this, this destined plan that you're going on. Even that, well, that's why you're going to put in all this power over here because you're saying, well, I got this message of concern and it's coming from a mature man. So it could be a boss. It could be a father. Take it how it resonates, but it's definitely coming from this man, right? So this man has this message for you at the end of the month. Wow. Now, the sudden wealth all of a sudden is upside down, but it's kind of crazy because it kind of came out sideways, which is, means that the movement, choice, and decisions from the message of concern, oh my gosh, is concerning this sudden wealth. But it's not saying you're getting the sudden wealth, and it's not saying you're not getting sudden wealth. What it's saying is he's talking about the decision you need to make about sudden wealth. So it could be a huge job offer, something of this nature. I'm going to leave it sideways because it's something that you have to think about. It's something that is of concern when it comes to this man. This man is very powerful, but yet he's instilling power also within. It's almost like he's instilling power on top of power you already have. To get to the sudden wealth, which is going to give you something to think about of how to achieve that sudden wealth. But then you're going to put yourself in the waiting game because it's unexpected income also coming out sideways. Yes. Your intuition is going to be popping. So, on top of the awareness, <clears throat> clarify on the awareness, because, yeah, it's saying, okay, well, if, I, if I'm going to do it this way, what this guy says, how do I know? The awareness is you might have to take a journey, you might have to move, you might have to, you have to get moving. 
the journey might be that you actually have to move to go get this. Some of you are going to go on vacation too, and you're going to be thinking about this, which is crazy because the whole idea of a vacation is not to be thinking <laughs> about stresses. You're supposed to be getting over stresses. But now all of a sudden, if this pops up, how you're going to be thinking about that on a vacation. The journey is movement. Whether it's movement within the mind of metaphoric movement or if it's actual one way or another. Yeah, but try not to imprison yourself about the situation. I mean, don't get so caught up in your head that if you are on a vacation, please guys don't get so caught up that to where you are not having fun because, it's, you know, because you're, you know, it says toil and labor, putting your mind through toil and labor, trying to figure out the answers. Um, make sure you're still trying to at least have fun. You can put that away for a minute, but if it, it when it comes, it's coming so sudden, it's... Some foundations, distant, distant horizons in the house. Now you're looking at a firm foundation of the distance, I, journeying away from the house distance and firm foundation of the house and the distant journey and the occupation some of you actually work from home so you don't even have to journey very far when you go to work <clears throat> you actually work at home so for those of you who do work at home it's not going to be much of a journey anyways for others of you, it's a journey because there's actually going to be a thought of a change in occupation. But for a lot of you, it doesn't look like you're going to take the... You're going to think about it, think about it, think about it, but you're not sure if you actually want to take a change in occupation. It actually looks like they almost want you to move away from your home to go somewhere else. To take another job. But it's like too far. It's the job is too far away for some of you. You just can't do it. But it's paying a lot of money. But you just might not even be affording to be able to do so. I can't afford to leave my house. Can't afford to leave my insurance for that long. I can't afford to go two weeks without a paycheck. So there is definitely something here going on. But it definitely does have you in movement choice and decisions. But there is a material harvest here. From a wealthy man who is not a false, this is not a false offer. This person is not hiding anything, but you'll get another message from this person. Wow. And it's actually going to be expected, though. You're actually going to expect this, this message because whatever the message is that's coming through, you know this person is going to do whatever it is. Hey, look, because look, if I say no, they may come back and say this and that and that. For some of you, you might even be selling your house. And you don't like the offer. And they may be trying to offer, this mature man may be trying to offer what you don't believe is the sudden wealth that you want to sell your house for. So I see two different messages here. Um, almost three different messages in some ways, right? Um, but definitely with this house over here, there if you are trying to sell your house, this person is going to come back with an expected offer. And you know that they want this. So if that's the, the situation for you, you know this message is going to come through. And it's you're going to get your, they're going to offer you what you want, right? For others of you, it's this unexpected person who's bringing in something for you. That you're definitely waiting for, or on the pathway. And you know this is the pathway to your destiny of what you're looking for. And you have, you know, this is definitely what you want. Right. But as you're looking at it through the thing, you're saying, well, how come I can't make it within my own area? Why can't I do this where I want to do this? But he's coming back to you to say something to you. Next card coming out is community. So he may actually say, okay, fine, I'll keep it in the community. Huh. Let me get some material cards on this one, guys. This is kind of interesting. I do definitely see these two different messages. 
you know that there's something coming through. You know, it is kind of concerning though, because where it's concerning is making you do something that you're not sure that you want to do. That's what the concern is. The concern is if I'm selling my house, the concern is, it's concerning me that you want to buy my house, but that's not exactly the price I wanted. It's concerning to me that you want me to take your job offer, but it's a million miles away is what it feels like. Even if it's, oh my gosh, guys, even if, you know, it's 20, you know, minutes away from work with the gas prices, you know, nobody wants to do that, right? So it, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's messages of discernment. Yeah. Not really hopeful about the message that's coming through on the discernment. But knowing that the mature man can give you the wheel of fortune. See, that's where you're having the, the issues. You know that they're capable of giving you what you want. You know they're capable of giving you the happiness of what it is you're looking for. But you have to go into the hermit mode. See, you're definitely going to go into the hermit mode to start thinking about the situation. Because it's now giving you toil. But you're saying, I want justification out of the situation. But I have to get balanced within the situation to make it all come through. It doesn't matter what the scenario is. Um, in the end, it all, you know, comes out to the same reasonings for the destiny is it has to have balance and justice. It has to be justified for me to be able to do anything. And then the house card again, it has to have the passion of where it needs to be. You need to give me the money for my house. You have to give me the passion for the job. You have to give it to me to where it's something that I can actually grab. Um, but then I love it because then you have the guy who comes through and he says, well, I am going to offer you this. And he's giving you this other piece to the puzzle of the freedom of what you're actually looking for. So he's bringing in the blessing because he's going to bring in the message that says, okay, I see it more your way. So there it is at the end. He sees the pathway that you're looking at. He sees what you want. And so therefore he's making this offer to actually get you to what it is that you're truly trying to manifest and try to get out of the situation that keeps you exactly where you want to be. So with the inference over here, it has to be this way. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to be successful. Absolutely. And then, of course, you're going to have the Queen of Cups come through. This is, well, now I can see it this way. And it's more honorable towards what I want. And my intuition is saying, ah, okay, you see it my way now. I'm glad you see it my way. Right? Because this is, now you see the ferity within the situation. But it said that she was... That this person, he or she, I know it says male, the majority is male. It could be a female, though. But <clears throat> the energy I'm getting out is male. It could just be this huge masculine thing, right? Maybe she's the kind that wears her pants up, you know, real high, you know, wears a suit and not a dress. Who knows? Um, but it doesn't matter. The point is, is it doesn't say they're a false person because they're saying, well, I'm not going to hide anything from you. I'm telling you what it is. And, I, you know, and you're expecting this to happen. And they're saying, okay, that's fine. But I will message you to tell you, and you're saying, oh, well, then you are a good person. Because you are seeing that this is where my priorities are. See, because if they didn't, then they would try to con you out of the situation. And you don't want them to do that. They want to see the dreams and the ships come through in this situation of where you're going. And that's what you really need. And this will actually then allow you to have the peace of mind, which you've been trying to get somewhere between probably you know, the 30th or so, maybe it's happening now, but you see that you're definitely moving in the area where you need to be, whatever your situation is. And then you have the judgment and saying, oh, now you're going to give me the blossoming and the judgment call. So then they're going to come again. But when you have the rest in peace is when you realize that the good news of the situation has definitely turned in your favor. It wasn't just something that they just called and said, okay, well, I see it your way. You're actually not going to see it actually come into action, right? And as you see it come into action, you're going to feel like everything is balanced and then you can get back into the choices, decisions again as you're seeing the Ace of Pentacles. So literally you're going to sell this house. Finally, with the action of the judgment, you can see them actually signing the paperwork to sell that house or to buy that house or you see what I'm saying? Um, or maybe you're buying a house, whatever is your scenario, my friends, to the situation. I'm just throwing them out there. If it's your story, you know it. Um, if it's not, please watch it, you know, your regular sign, rising moon or Venus. But the point of the story is, is that yes, because now you can see where the Ace of Pentacles is actually working in your favor. Once they actually call back again and say, okay, you're ready to sign this. You're ready to make this deal. You're ready to do this and that. Because they already said that they were going to do that. So I would say by the first of the month, there it is. 
Now you're saying the things I want to hear you say, and therefore it will get you out of your head of saying, well, you know, because over here it's almost to the point where it's like, are they really playing me for a fool? Should I really do this? You know, it could be time consuming. It could be this. I might have to move far away. It, it could hurt, right? If I don't get exactly what I need, because this is what I said I need, right? So I like it that they see it your way. And that's really what it is. Oh, you're going to see it my way. Look, even if they don't give you 100% exactly what you're asking for, you're going to give it good enough to where it doesn't hurt. It still keeps you where you're supposed to be. That's the point, right? If you're, you're lowballing on a house, guys, you ain't going to take that lowball. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You know, because for some of you, it's saying, I have, I need to clear some debt. I don't want to get caught with anything, right? Abundance is your mindset. You need to have what exactly you need. So you definitely want to see how it is. And successful funding is a very big issue within the situation. Because if you're not, then you're going to get stuck. You might get stuck holding something, right? Look, even when you sell a car, right? If you owe this much money to the dealership on this car... You want to, you know, try to make it bigger. Same with the house. You know, if I own $75,000 on my house still, I sure as hell ain't going to sell it for seventy three dollars because then I still owe the bank the rest of the money. So, no, you can't lowball me. I have to have what I need to get out of the debt. Same with a job. If I haven't moved this far, you better be giving me what I want because, dude, I can't, you know, afford to do that. Or I can't afford to drive that far, so you better give me a better offer of how much you're going to give me. Um, to do this job or however it is, but it has to be balanced to where you're not getting yourself into any kind of um, definitely financial hurt. And that's really what it looks like. It looks like financial hurt. This is mostly my financial, my friends, more than anything on a materialistic value. But he has the money to do so and he wants to do so. So like I said, I don't matter if it's really a he or a she, I'm, I'm not worried about those things don't really worry me that much. But what really does worry me is that you keeping, you know, don't keep yourself in your mind too, too much because you will find the answer with the overall awareness. And it's almost to the point to where you feel like you're going to do one thing and then all of a sudden you know they're going to call back because they already said so. So, so just make sure you're keeping yourself positive about the situation, my friends. Okay. Great reading. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.